Klopp announcing that he's leaving Liverpool has, of course, hit football hard. There's a, an emotional response, and understandably so, from Liverpool fans. Their greatest manager of the Premier League era will leave. There have been ongoing debates, debates that will probably rage on for many, many years to come, as to whether or not Klopp, who did have a smaller budget, not a poor man's budget, but a lesser budget than Pep Guardiola, that what he has done with Liverpool in these past nine years is actually a better achievement than Pep. And some see him as the best manager in the world. Others put him in the top two, some the top three. But undoubtedly, he is one of the best managers on planet Earth right now, one of the best managers we've ever seen in the Premier League. So I understand the emotional outpouring from that point of view. You have your neutrals that maybe do not have a dog in the fight that are very sad to see such a competitive and high-quality manager leave. Then there is the, the, the emotional outpouring of joy and glee and excitement and that sense of phew. Thank God he's leaving. He's been such a thorn in our side. Whether it's Man City fans who have always had Liverpool sort of nipping at their heels, pushing them, beating them to major titles. Whether it's your Arsenals or your Tottenham's or Man United's that think we've got a better chance now of winning more things because one of the best managers in the world has gone. I understand that as well. But there are so many assumptions, so many lies, so many mistruths, so many people counting their chickens before they have hatched at this moment in time. It's unbelievable. Now, is it a plausible theory that with Jurgen Klopp leaving, Liverpool regress? You could say yes. If he truly is the best or second best or third best manager in the world, it is conceivable the new man coming in isn't as good. And therefore, Liverpool won't be as good. But the question is, how big is that drop-off going to be? We're seeing articles that are being produced that I believe are at best fabrications, at worst, outright lies. I saw an article today that said that Salah, Trent and Van Dijk will all now leave because Jurgen Klopp is going. And I think to myself, now, I'm a Man United fan saying this. The first thing that comes into my mind is the disrespect towards Liverpool is outstandingly bad. It's, it's a severe stench. It's like morning breath mixed with coffee after not brushing your teeth for a week. The stench is that bad. It would sober you up in an instance. The idea that their best players are all going to just leave because Klopp has gone. And the only reason they were at Liverpool, the only reason they signed new deals at Liverpool was purely because of Klopp, I think is an absolute dretch. It's lazy at best, a complete lie at its worst. Of course, we know that Salah was towards the end of his time and it's, there is a possibility he goes. But this max, mass exodus that's being predicted, along with Klopp and all these teams, is crazy. And what Liverpool have been praised for in the last nine years is how well run they've been, how they have a solid foundation, how they buy the right players for the club, how they've developed a footballing philosophy that runs deep from academy right through to the first team. And that the culture at the club, the winning mentality, which, by the way, Jurgen Klopp helped them to, be, uh, to, to create, that backbone, that foundation, that spine is what, is what got Liverpool back to being one of the very best teams in the world, winning league titles, competing for league titles year in, year out. And of course, those three Champions League finals in the past eight to nine years. And this notion that suddenly Klopp's going to leave and it's all going to fall apart again, it's a revision of history. And in my opinion, a poisonous lie. Now you could predict Liverpool fall apart and it happens and you say, see, I told you. But right now, I think at best, you're guessing. You're throwing it out there, going, oh, I hope this sticks. I don't believe you, you truly believe that. I do not see a world where all the structures, all the processes, everything that's put in, been put in place at Liverpool in the last nine years 
plus some of it was being built before Klopp. They're going to let it all leave with him. They're going to get the very best manager in house who, whose view of football, whose philosophy, whose style of training, when it comes to the types of players they would want to identify to bring their football to life, there is going to be a match with what Liverpool are currently doing. Now, before anybody says it in the comment section, of course, it's not going to be 100% like for like, but it's going to be close. This is why, whether it's Alonso that comes in, who is currently the favourite, he has limited experience. I think he's only managed, I was actually looking here earlier today, he's managed 162 games. He's not a complete novice. But his name's on the list, as an example. You've got De Zerbi with more experience, but not at that level. Poster Coglu's name is there. Thomas Frank's name is there. There are not any out and outright winners at the elite end of the spectrum, though. Zidane doesn't want to come to England, and Chelotti is unattainable because he's at Real Madrid. Pep isn't joining. Who, who else really is there that will play a similar style to Klopp? As a will have a man management style that's similar to him, and will be able to work with these profiles at the club. Liverpool, as far as we can see, there is not one word that there is going to be a rebuild, that there is going to be a new project, that they're going to start off in a, in a brand new direction, and they're going to unearth and dig up and demolish everything that's been created in the past decade and start again from scratch. For some reason, football fans are either lying to themselves or they're, or they're, or they're lying to you that, oh, Liverpool are done now. So it all leaves with Klopp. This is crazy. We have seen that happen at other clubs, but that's when the whole ideology was built around a manager and they had full control. Klopp hasn't had that at Liverpool. Of course, he's powerful. Of course, he gets an opinion. But even some of his best players that are in the team now were not players that he wanted to sign. The club made that decision. And as long as the club has a good technical director, gets a good sporting director in, and I know there's some areas that need to be improved, brings in a manager that is a clear fit, there may be a drop-off, but not, in my opinion, to the, the over-exaggerated levels that many are suggesting. Because Liverpool, along with Man City, the same as your Brightons and your Brentfords, and I'm talking on a pound-for-pound -pound scale, have very much echoed what the Bayern Munichs, what the Dortmunds, what the, the Ajaxes of this world have done. And again, I'm talking here on a scowled level. Depending upon the money a club makes, uh, will we'll, we'll, we'll dictate the consistency and the success that that team has. But you see someone like Girona in Spain, they don't need a huge amount of money, but when you're run well with that same structure where everything from top to bottom pulls in the same direction, look how successful you can become or how good you can become. It's plausible. Liverpool followed that journey. According to hundreds of articles that have been published, multiple podcasts I've listened to, and years and years of praise, suddenly we're going to rewrite history and go, actually, Klopp built it all. It's all his idea. As soon as he leaves, it falls apart, and FFG had no idea what they're doing. I don't see it. I believe people are counting their chickens before they've hatched. There's probably a bit of hope in there and praying and a please happen. But you shouldn't predict things based on what you want to happen. You should predict things based on what you truly think and feel. So if you feel they're going to fall apart, explain it. Break it down. But you can't, if your explanation rewrites the history of what's gone on under FFG, under Klopp in the past nine plus years, there's a problem. Your, your, your opinion cannot be that if it's based upon a lie. And even if you're right, you're, you're just, it's pin the towel on a donkey and you're guessing. So for me, look, as a Man United fan, of course I hope it goes wrong. But I am not going to labour under the illusion that they're just going to forget how to run a club well. Even if the manager isn't as good as Jurgen Klopp, that doesn't mean they're not going to be a potent, strong and dangerous team. I think that there's going to be this big mass exodus. I think that is a lie. I think that is beyond wishful thinking at this moment in time. They're a well-run, highly structured football club who I cannot imagine. When you look at the favourites now, the Alonzos, the De Zerbis, the Postacoglus, there is, if you look at the styles of football, there are similarities. If you look at the characters and the charismatic nature of some of these managers, there's crossover here. You're not going to get another Jurgen Klopp. I understand that. That is impossible. But there will be a clear match. When Barcelona were, were, were being run impeccably well and they were at the peak of their powers, the managers had a similar view of things. 
Bayern, they do the same type of thing. Doesn't mean they don't make mistakes, but it's similar. Ajax do not employ managers <laughs> who come in and play like Conte. They don't do it. Don't do it. And if they bring someone in and they don't do a good job, they're gone pretty quickly. I just don't see this fall off. I want this fall off from Liverpool. I don't think it's coming. I'd love to get your opinions on this. I'm sitting here reading stuff on Twitter. I'm listening to some people's podcasts, listening to their opinions. And it's just, and maybe the viewers want that. Maybe I'm going to get called out and slagged off in the comment section. How dare you back Liverpool? It's not about back in Liverpool. It's about living in reality. And I think right now, predicting their downfall, again, I'm going to say it for what it is. I think it's an absolute outright lie. 